Well, I'm sitting here. It's about a week uh, out from the election, just thinking about how things might turn out. Uh, like most everybody else, I'm tired of these commercials. I really, really am. You don't learn anything from them. They just inundate you with this madness. And uh, I don't know why our political system turned the way it did, but it seems it's our fault. We respond to the negative type ads. And that's just the way it is. They come up and tell you all the reasons why you should not only not vote for their opponent, but why you should actually hate them and almost want to hunt them down. And that seems to work. Uh, whether it's bringing out voters or whether it's just depressing the vote and keeping the count down, I don't know. But anyway, the negative stuff is what seems to work. In our state, uh, which is Georgia, we've got uh, a pretty critical election for Senate and also for governor. And, uh, you know, our candidate on the Republican side for the Senate is a good man. He's a businessman. Uh, there was a lot of infighting for the nomination. And, uh, you know, it makes you wonder sometimes whether there is a political class that thinks that it's just their entitlement to run things. Uh, I don't know that they've been as supportive as they might be after the uh, primary fight was over with, but uh, we're not like the Democrats. The Democrats close ranks and get cohesive uh, and, and stay on message. Whether that message is true or not doesn't seem to matter, but they get on message and they stay there. Our guy is not perhaps the best public speaker or the best uh, political candidate. But I think uh, from what I've read and studied about him, he is the best person for this particular job. He has the experience level and the things that, that we need to do. The concern is uh, that doesn't always carry the day. So at any rate, rather than type all this out, I thought I'd play around and uh, do something in the form of a little verbal type podcast. And we'll see how it sounds. <laughs>